they asked men who they would save if their mother or their wife was drowning so there's this conversation that is going on on social media which tunde and not posted he was asking the men your wife or your mom they are drowning who are you going to save now that is my question to you who are you going to save now i have asked one or two people and some people said oh that i'm going to try to save both of them but if you did not have a choice and you had to save just one person who are you going to save now nancy has a whole theory about this whole thing that is um you know cora obedi's sister she has a perception and everything she thinks about it i want us to listen to her and let me know what you think about this whole thing but i for one I'm going to give you guys my opinion and my thoughts at the end of this video. So let's just listen to Nancy and I will be back. That was carried out on a popular uh, platform in Nigeria. So they asked men who they would save if their mother or their wife was drowning. And 79% of men chose their mothers over their wives. And I thought, okay, maybe it's just Instagram being messy. And then I went to the comments. Hey, you guys. Well, Instagram said that 35 or, or there about percent of people following me are men. So I want to address you guys today. Okay. Listen to me. If you're a man following me right now, if you're not married, then this is really good information. If you're already married and you have this mindset, then I'm, I'm going to try and change that mindset today. There is no point. Listen to me. There's no point being married. Eh? if you believe that your wife is not that important. Before we go further in the video, based on what Nancy has said so far, that if you have this mentality, you shouldn't even bother getting married. Um, some people have said, how can you think that way? You know, that you would save your um, mom and leave your wife, who is the mother of your children, and how can you think that way and whatnot? I mean, nobody deserves to be placed in this kind of situation. It is a very tricky one. I am a mother also, and I would not want, you know, not to be alive, but I would not want also somebody else's daughter not to be alive. So it's quite a tricky one, and I am caught in the mix. It's a hard one for me to even decide, but let's keep listening to Nancy, and I'll give my honest thoughts at the end. Your wife is the most important person in your life. The only reason you would think otherwise is if you were raised in an abusive home. If your father was abusive towards your mother, you wouldn't think of women as anything. If you witnessed your mother abuse your father, if you witnessed your mother do shady things like bring other people's children and claim it was your father's child, if you witnessed your mother be verbally abusive towards your father if you if you grew up in a toxic home then you wouldn't see women as anything then you would click save my mother because why would you take someone's daughter down the aisle tell the person i do in sickness in health to death do what's part and choose your mother why would you do that to someone's child how would you feel if she did the same to you? And you know women love to be married. They like the idea of marriage. In fact, they can buy inside marriage. They don't mind. They would rather be married than just... They would. They love to be married. So I can see how the same poll taken among women would actually be slightly different. It all comes down to the level of disrespect that the average Nigerian woman has faced over the years. We are seen as tools. Just come and give birth and go. Just come and give birth and get out. We don't need you for anything else. No inheritance, nothing. Just give me children. No, Nigerian women are more than surrogates. They are not tools. They are not cows. They are not tools to be purchased. There's no reason why you would marry somebody's daughter and she's not the most important person to you. She gave you children. I see, I, I was going through the comments. I even saw someone that I know who was like a former classmate comments, this man has two children. He was there saying, oh, there's even one man after so, so, so years of marriage, he discovered through DNA that the children are ah, women, fear women. I would choose my mother a hundred times. So you would rather your own children have to grow up without a mother 
eh? You want your mother who has lived her life, who your your father probably protected, to come and take care of your children when their mother is there. Do you know what it's like to grow up without a mother? I grew up without a mother. I know firsthand how horrible it is to grow up without a mother. Don't get married. Don't bother. Don't do it. Do not bother getting married if this is your mindset. It needs to shift. Your wife is your most important asset. You choose her before your children. Else, you need to go back. Go back. Go and learn what marriage is about. Don't bother. Don't walk down that aisle. Whoever you choose to carry on your legacy, whoever you choose to build a family with, whoever you choose to have children with, should be the most important person to you. I don't care what your parents were like. Any parent that would teach their children to choose them over their spouse was a very wicked and selfish parent. I saw a video the other day where people were saying, oh, don't give birth to too many children because they will not take care of you. Is that why you have children? Imagine my son now choosing me over his wife. I would send him back to where, where he's coming from. Like, you cannot be my son and choose me over your wife. Your wife is your everything. Your wife should come before your children. That is your wife. Your wife is your wife. I know people who separate, people divorce, and they hate each other, you know. However, there's no... If you look closely, people that actually do that, they have no business. No business in the first place being married. If you're going to be that serious and get someone to bear your name, to dump her last name, to come and give you children then you treat her as important as she is. She's not to be told with. She's not to be messed with. She is very important to you, to your family. And she deserves to be in her children's lives. She deserves to be there to train them. Okay? Protect her. For those of you on my page, you are men, and you have this belief that somehow your wife is not as important as your mother because of blood, then you need to learn more about marriage. Learn what marriage is about. Okay? God bless you guys. Bye. Hmm. I know I said I was going to give my honest thoughts. I heard everything Nancy said right there, but I still feel like this is a hard one. Nobody should be placed in this kind of position. But, you know, I feel like both persons, the mom, the wife, they are both important in a person's life in as much as your mother is important your wife is also very very important to you and you know it's important because that is the woman who has given you children who has given you a legacy to live on some people will say well the reason why some of the men are choosing their mothers is because you can always marry another wife or you cannot marry another woman but if you are comfortable to just speak one person, you know, when you hear this kind of question, then I don't think you should better getting married. I feel you, it should be a difficult speak. It should be so hard for you. Except for the men who are married to horrible wives and they're like, I beg this woman, they frustrate me. And that is how some women are married to horrible husbands also who taunt and frustrate them every day of their life. Anyway, guys, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. I think this is quite <laughs> a sensitive one. But what do you think? Are you team? wife team mom or team in between i am just gonna stick to in between try as much as possible to save both persons if you can but leaving one person but some people will say okay i'm gonna save the mother i would hope that the wife can you know still try and help herself but what if the wife cannot swim and what if the mother is a good swimmer you know there's so many dynamics today but it's such a tricky question but let me know what you think and i will see you guys in my next video bye for now